Hello everyone, Green Gemini here, back with your next episode of Oxygen Not Included. So, we got the rest of this built up. I went ahead and closed this off so we have a complete vacuum here with the gas vent and everything ready to go. Uh, before we start pumping anything into here, we need to deconstruct that. I don't want to start spewing natural gas out into this area. Um, I don't know if you saw it right at the end of the last episode. There's another natural gas geyser up here. Um, oh my goodness, there's there's so much natural gas down here in this uh, asteroid. It's ridiculous. But you know what? That's okay. That's that's okay. We're going to need it. We are. We are going to need it. Well, I don't know how much we're going to need it, but we'll see. All right, so what I want to do now is let's go ahead and uncover this. Oh, we'll get this bad boy uncovered. And then, let's see, we've got to sweep this up. I had put a storage bin up here, um, mostly just for the, for the sweep only stuff, just to get this out of here very quickly. Um, I did that over here for this one and it worked out pretty darn well. And that way they weren't having to run all the way back to the base to, uh, to grab or to take the materials back to. So once they get this uncovered, we'll be good to go. My only fear here is that um, if this gets too hot in here, then this will flash to steam. Um, I'm hoping we could get the... Um, the analysis and everything else done prior to that happening. <laughs> so, uh, currently it's idle. Got to get this stuff swept up real quick first and right up to here. See, they're sweeping, putting into here, sweep into there, sweep into there. So that'll go pretty quick. Uh, we'll get that done. Uh, we'll get that analyzed. Um, and then what I would like to do is we've got our ladder going all the way up to here. We can go ahead and get into this other one, believe it or not. Um, since it's kind of crazy that we're going to have the opportunity to get two of these tapped here back to back. I was thinking that we were going to get into this one down here, but this one is... That is natural gas, right? Yes. Um, it's a little far away, in a sense, um, and we have a lot of digging out to do over here before we get into that. Uh, let me take, first of all, let me look at the temperature. The temperature down here really isn't that bad. It really isn't. So I think I'm just going to take this and come down with it like that. And then we've already set things up now to where we have, this is where the natural gas generators are going to go, is down here. Let's see. This should start in two cycles. See if we have this come up here. See if we have chlorine gas. So we have this is where is it at? This is water locked down here. So I'm good with that. So I can take once we get up here. Uh, let's go to here. Ooh, and that's currently dormant too. Good. All right. I don't know how quickly we're going to get up here, but we'll see. Aha! See? There we go. There's our natural gas. Uh, shouldn't be flashing that quickly. Yeah, see, 140 degrees. As long as the natural gas doesn't stay in there, I think we'll be okay. But look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, who is suffocating and where? Joshua, you are a moron. <laughs> Eat it when they do that. Oh boy. Anyway, these dupes are not the brightest sometimes. I love that we have a saltwater geyser right here too. Um, so many different things that we can do. <laughs> Seriously. It's absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and dig out that and that. Just so I have a little bit of material right around here. Awesome. And then 
we want to hurry up and get this swept up. So we can go ahead and get that closed off as soon as he's done with that. So we'll get up here, we'll get this done. I'm going to say... Uh, let's go with a tile there, there, and there. And we're going to go just like that. Okay, so we'll create a water lock here. Uh, we'll go, let's say, plumbing. Hang on, temperature up here. My only concern with this up here is that it might be, it might end up getting too cold because I've created a water lock before that, <laughs> quite honestly, a little bit of an oops because the water froze and then all the gases got out, but we might be okay. Let's see, ventilation, no. Um... I mean, bottle and tear, igneous rock. Actually, making out of granite since we have granite around. And that'll create, that'll, that'll go very, very quickly. And then as soon as we can get in here, we can start pumping this out. We'll have to put a gas filter in here. Um, but that won't be too hard to do. So say we have the pipe come out here, down and put it in to here. Gas filter will go here. Filter out, and this isn't gonna have to be a permanent thing either. It'll just be temporary. Um, so filter out the natural gas. Bring that, wow, bring that. That's really far to go. Bring that all the way down. It's a lot further than I thought it was going to be. And then anything else will just vent out to right there. And with this being dormant, we should be able to get up here pretty darn quickly. Or pretty easily. Um, let's keep it insulated tile on this side over here. One, two, three, four, five. So that'll go here. Keep it to that. Take that out. All of this needs to be dug out. That, okay. Um, and then I'm thinking, let's see, let's go ventilation. Let's go gas pump. How far away do I have those? Pretty decent. Well, no, they're actually right next to it. Okay. Um, Alright, I can do that. We can go... Not here, but there. So if we go to there... And that means this is going to have to go here there and then we'll close it off here now this is obviously only say this is the problem this is this is the problem right here because the water that's up here is freezing because that is how cold it is up here um so i might do oil instead i know it's a bit of a long trek for them to get oil all the way up there, but we may not have a choice. Is this? No, that needs to go away. Uh, mop that up. I need to figure out something to do with this water. Um, what if we actually, what if we dig this out? That way the ice that melts can then fall into here. This is horrible. Uh, let's grab a couple of deodorizers, pop them in around here. There you go. 
Drain some of that into there. Ooh, that's a little warm. That's that's actually a lot warmer than uh, than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> wow. Why is that? Oh, it's because of this whole biome right here. That's why. Uh, another cold biome there. A lot of cold biomes around. I actually really like that. That's that's good. Okay, see now we're up to 9.4 kilograms already in here per tile. I love it. Next dormancy. Oh, oh, that one is now currently done. Good. Uh, so let's go with. Uh, I guess I'll close it off here. Yeah, yeah, we'll close it off there. Okay, so what's going on up here? Nothing yet. Why don't we go ahead and put a little bit of a rush on this one? At least to that point. Okay, and then in here, what, what do we have around here? Uh, granite mostly, I think. So we'll go with this. We'll go... This can go up here like this. And then like that. And then we'll stop there because I don't want them digging through this yet. And then it's going to take a little while for these to get that done. There you go. Get this built. Perfect. Now, again, I'm uh, I'm a little scared here with the water, so we're gonna do we're gonna do crude oil. As soon as I get just a tiny bit of crude oil in here, it'll keep the water warm enough to keep it melted, and it'll create a decent liquid lock that's in here. So. Oh, plus the water that was just there just kind of went away. All right, so we'll get that in there. Filter is already up. So unbreathable gas, natural gas. Okay. And then uh, let's work on getting electricity up here. So we have transformer here. Just hooked up to that. So easily take. Well, let's do this. Let's go steel. With a wire bridge like this. And we'll take wire up this way. Do, 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 all the way up. My goodness. It's pretty far. Uh, let's go like that, and then let's take this straight in like that with that. Okay, perfect. Um, curious to see, do we have someone actually doing this errand currently? No. This is way far down on their list. Okay, so we're going to say water. Um, well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's currently nighttime. So we'll see. <laughs> we will see what happens when daytime hits. I can't believe we're in cycle 200 already. Wow. It's crazy. Alright, so we've got natural gas entering in here. Now, the other thing that I want to do, let's go ahead and dig down this way with this. And then I've got one, two, three, four. Um, let's see here. 
seven kilograms. I've got to get this dug out first. I might do an in-between to where I dig this out. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm getting a lot of natural gas in here. Seriously, more than I thought I was going to. get that done. Okay, current errands, not so much. If I change it to water, might help a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and get a pitcher pump in here. Let's see, plumbing, pitcher pump, that might be a little too much underground or underwater. Deconstruct that. We'll put a pitcher pump down here to kind of give us access to water. Uh, I don't really feel like it's going to freeze if we get it in here. I don't think. There you go. Uh, plumbing, pitcher pump. Here. Get that built. If we can get a second one of these done, then that's this quickly, that's going to be amazing. All right, I so said we have a cool slush geyser here, which that can actually be used to cool our pool of salt water. This is currently dormant. So we could dig into this real quick. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and dig into here. And then I'm going to go one, two, three. So if we dig into here, there's only, I mean, it's just hydrogen. Hydrogen will go all the way up. I'm like, what is happening up here? Oh, this thing decided to go active. <laughs> 58 cycles it'll be active for. All right, cool. Uh, and that's going to give out probably a decent amount of water. We'll see how warm it gets down here. We'll see what happens with that. All right. I, I, there's not enough liquid in here to make me comfortable enough to, to do this. Um, I have decided to cut off my access up there. <laughs> Gotta get them back. There you go. Now we will be letting a little bit of this heat out, but that's okay. If we can if we can keep this heat under control, I'll be happy. But I think what I'm gonna end up doing is we'll get this analyzed now that it's dormant. Um Wow, 10.2 kilograms a second. And the eruption period is 335 seconds. So hold on a second. That's a lot of salt water. 10.2 times 335 is 3,417 kilograms every time it erupts. And each tile holds a thousand kilograms, so that's three tiles every time it erupts. Well, three and a half tiles. Dang. That's kind of crazy. Please tell me we have someone working on this. Let's make it a priority. 
Let's say do it now. <laughs> because I need that done. And then we'll get, let's see, how do, how's, uh, how are we doing down here? Flooded again. Uh, that's not making me very happy. I don't like that that thing is flooding all the time right now. How much steel do we have? 4,000? We've got, what, two left? <sighs> We're out of lime again. And actually, here's what I need to do. Um, since, <laughs> since fossil's down here, um, I need to get one of these. Let's go with... Oh, where is it? First of all... Let me do this. We'll go with refinement. Let's go with a rock crusher to go here. That way we can make lime here instead of all the way up here. And then have we gotten, gotten some water in here? Not a lot. Alright, I am okay with that for now. So let's go ahead and look at the construction of stuff. Let's go ahead and just put it on a priority nine. Let's get it done quickly. This is what I want every single dupe to be focused on is that. Let's focus in on that. Now the water that we've got down here Definitely going to need water over here. I have... Okay, I do have something here. Okay. Um... Actually, we're going to need mesh tile, copper... Uh, let's go with one here. And let's put the bottle emptier... Made out of igneous... No, sandstone can go there. So we'll get that done. Just to make it a little bit easier to uh, empty these water bottles that we're going to have. That's completely fine. This is completely fine down here. Good. Let's see. We're getting this built. So I think we'll go ahead and do a cut in the video. Let that get built. And then we'll go from there. Alright, so what I ended up doing was I kind of dug this out a little bit because this is where a lot of igneous rock was and that's what we're using for our insulated pipes. So we got that done. Well, the pipes at least anyway. We're still working on the uh, wires and stuff, but we're doing that. And then I also went in and gave Ren some improved carrying so he now has the capability of carrying a lot. Uh, same with Mima and Ashkin gave them some, oh, and Otto gave them some Im improved capabilities here. Unfortunately, um, we kind of took our time. Well, we didn't take our time, but the natural gas geyser is now starting to go. Um, nothing we can do about that. You know, it is what it is. We're just going to have to deal with it. Um, I hate to use Wolframite, however, um, I don't want to have to have these guys constantly running back to base to get wire. So we're going to switch over to Wolframite just to get um, this in here. So we'll switch it to there and then we'll go back to steel going into here. Um, and then we'll start getting this dug out and start getting this built up. I think we're going to have to do this off camera. Um, in between this episode and the next just because I mean these builds take so long and I hate doing it However, I 
kind of don't have a choice, you know? I mean, that's, that's part of the way this game is. You get this far into the game and it gets a lot harder to sit here and, and have to and be able to do one thing right after another because you have all of these builds, these large extravagant builds that need to be done. Um, and having to wait in between every single time is kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> so... Uh, but we'll get, um, God, hopefully we can get some more water in here. Ugh. Oh no, 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 no. See, natural gas is out. Crap. Okay, we're going to have to do it. I'm going to have to sample. Brush. Push that back a little. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. Um, they're taking too long for it. The water is too far away. It's just not going to happen. So disable auto bottle. The Aaron just isn't there. It's just not there. Anyway, okay. So we're getting this done. Um, getting, let's see, do priority nine. Get this in here. Okay, we'll get this thing analyzed. Get that done, and then I think what I want to do is we'll copy this, we'll have it come over this way. That way we can get that dug out. Get this stuff built in here. Let's do a nine on all of that as well. Give me that. Dig that out. Thank you very much. Okay, we might be going a little bit faster up here now. <laughs> Maybe we won't cut. Maybe we'll just kind of leave this here. I don't want to... I don't want to build any of that yet. Only because I want to keep this as open as possible so we can get um, the pumps in here and get that done. And actually, yeah, we will go ahead and wrap this up. So we'll get the dupes to finish this up and then we'll try and get this pumped out as much as possible. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can get this down to a vacuum. Um, we'll see what the active period is for this. Well, the eruption period is 463 seconds every 886 seconds. Um, this one down here is always being a vacuum. But the eruption period is only 193 seconds every 540 seconds. Granted, the natural gas outputting is 522 grams a second. Um, and this is 328 grams a second. So this one outputs how much? So if we have... Gotta love math. Um, so we have 522.6 grams a second times 193. So that's 100,086, 861 grams per second. So 100,861. This one is 328.7 times 463. That is much, much more. It's 152,188 every time that this one erupts. So 50,000 grams more than what the other one does. So that's a pretty decent amount. Uh, let's see, we've got that hooked up. It's not hooked up to power. How is that not hooked up to power? Oh, that's why. Oh, stone hatch. Where did you come from, little guy? Let's wrangle you up. <laughs> just that's just kind of random. Okay. All right. So we have stone hatches. We've got a lot of good stuff going on over here with the hatches. I'm happy with that. Do we have any barbecue? No. My fish fillets. But no. Okay. Our Water has seemed to uh, grown exponentially over here. This is kind of crazy. It's mo I mean, it's just all from the ice that's melted. That's all. 
Temperature in here, 281. Temperature in this, 340. All right, so we're going to leave it there. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This. We have something up here. <gasps> and look how close we are to space. That's good. That makes me really happy. Uh, we're going to need to create a couple power poles that go down. Or not power poles, but fire poles that go down to get us out of there. You know, I keep saying we're done. We're not. Polluted water vent. Ooh. Okay. That'll be used for oxygen. We can use that for oxygen. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna... Okay, they are pumping it out. Yes. Good, 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 good. Alright, so we're going there. Anything that is not natural gas will end up then going down here. Oh, but that is all I have today. So questions, comments, concerns, put in the comment section down below. We went a little bit longer than I probably wanted to this time, but that's all right. Um, this ice biome is huge. And then I don't know if I said this or not, but we got that researched. Uh, next activity, 31.2 cycles. So we're good to go there. I think in the next episode, um, we will work on getting our natural gas generation set up down here kind of help alleviate some of our, our coal that we've been using here. Um, we've got a little bit of heat happening down here, so we're going to have to get some of this, probably get into this cool slush geyser up here, uh, have it come down, do some heat moderation down here, uh, and then filter that polluted water uh, into regular water to then put into here. Um, and then I'll also get some of this dug out as well so that we can have more polluted water to work with and even regular water to work with <laughs> so but that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching everyone and i'll see you next time